Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. I'm very excited to be with you. I have so much fun stuff to share. Um, I have lots of videos on this awesome suite. Um, it's called Cactus Cuties and it's a really great bundle. You get the stamp set and the Cactus Builder Punch. You can buy them separately, but if you do, you don't save the 10%. So definitely if you're gonna get them both, get the bundle. Both of them can be purchased on my online store. So let's go ahead and get started. This is from the new January to June mini catalog of 2022, and I highly recommend this set. It is so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna make this cutest card ever. And let's go ahead, it's a fun fold. I'm gonna teach you how to go ahead, go about and make it. So it has a cute little belly band. You can see how I decorated that. And then you have these really cute folds. So you do have an area where you can sign. It's a nice kind of card to make when you have a bunch of people signing one card, like for coworkers or um, a big family and you guys all need a spot to sign because you can sign there. You can also put paper on the back, which I did not do, but you also have those spots as well to sign. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how I made this adorable card. Now this designer series paper is part of the free celebration and from January until the end of February of 2022 look at this cute paper that you can get for free it's free with a $50 purchase in the United States and there's um, information on my blog inkyhandswarmhearts.com if you need information I have that in the description below how to get to my website if you have any other kind of questions or comments that you need answered, I'd be happy to help you. Just drop me a line. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We are starting with a base here. And our base is just the average five and a half by four and a quarter inch base. And I have cut a piece of basic white cardstock down to four by five and a quarter inches. And then I used this really awesome splatter embossing plate. It's a 3D embossing plate and it's part of a two pack. It's actually designed for our small mini machine, which if you have not seen our mini stamp and cut emboss machine, oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's perfect to take with you when you go out somewhere and you need to die cut or just to keep on your desk at all times and have it handy when you have something you just need to die cut quickly. But these two dies, one is striped and one is splattered and they are the cutest. Now, just because it's small doesn't mean that you cannot use it to cover a full piece like I did. You're gonna put part of it through and then you're gonna line it up the part that got missed and run it through. When it's a design like the splatter, you can't really tell the difference. All right. So I'm gonna adhere that to this base. And because it does have like all these little bumps and pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and use a wet adhesive to adhere it. And I just feel like the wet adhesive just really gets into the nooks and crannies and really bonds well so that you don't have to worry about it coming up. So let's go ahead and attach this piece on here. Also, wet adhesive gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So if you're a little bit crooked and you need to kind of give it a slide to the right or left, you can do that. Okay, so that's the base. Now this little section is gonna get attached on top and I am gonna show you how to score that to fit this piece. I'm just gonna move this out of the way temporarily. And here is our piece. This is four and a quarter by 11, which is an actually a half sheet of cardstock. Just cut down the eight and a half inch length down this side. So we are gonna score it and we're gonna score it in this direction. So down the long side, this is my Simply Scoreboard, I love it. We're gonna score it at one and a half inches, at three inches, at five and a half inches, and at eight inches. All right. So 
So now we're gonna fold this in an accordion style. And I'm gonna use my bone folder, just making sure that all of my pieces are getting a nice crease in them. And here is the last one. Okay. So there is my piece that's gonna pull out like that. Now we're going to attach different pieces of designer series paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. On this piece here, we are going to be attaching this really cute paper. We're gonna put this color right here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna use our seal adhesive. And we're just gonna go ahead and attach this cute piece right to this front flap. Now this first piece, designer series paper, is um, one and a quarter inches by four. Now this middle section is the larger piece and I'm gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna put the green one here. So this is gonna be in the middle this time and you can see the cute rainbows on the other side. It's like you almost hate to cover them up, right? They're so cute. So this one's gonna go here. We're kind of skipping, it's every other. And this piece here is two and a quarter inches by four inches. And then for the last piece, we're gonna use a really thin piece. I'm gonna go ahead and just run it down the length here. This adhesive is so sticky, it's already sticking to my piece. All right, and this one's gonna go on the largest panel and it's just gonna go off here to the side so that you have room, right, to, to write what you wanna say to whoever you are sending this to, but you're still gonna see when it's folded, it looks like the whole panel is covered up, okay? So there is that part. Now this is gonna get attached onto our piece. So again, it's getting attached to a really like funky little raised, has little indentions in it. So I'm gonna use this adhesive and I'm gonna attach it to this layer here. And I'm gonna go all the way around the edges and I'm just gonna make sure that there's plenty of adhesive on the back. Now I'm gonna hold these guys together and bring this down here. And I'm gonna stand up actually because I won't be able to see with the camera in my way and I definitely wanna line this up right. So once I have it in place, I'm gonna grab this piece and I'm gonna lay it onto my card. And I wanna lay it so that all of these outer pieces look the same. I want it to have a nice border all the way around. And once I have it in place, I'm gonna go ahead and open that, give it a nice little squeeze, and there is our piece. Now, you can see that it springs open quite easily. Now, over time, as the belly band sits around it, it will flatten out. But for right now, we just have to use our bone folder and come through here and give it a nice little crease, which will help it to stay more flat. All right, I think we're good there. So there is that part. Now we're gonna work on our belly band. All right, for our belly band, this little white piece is out of this Stitch So Sweetly dies. They are the cutest dies. I really love them. I use them a lot. I love these stitched scalloped rectangles. And then these are perfect for things like this, like this belly band. So we're going to use that piece. And I have already run my belly band strip, which happens to be one and a half inches by 10 inches. And I ran it through the same splatter embossing folder. I wanted it to have that same texture and it's super cool, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna wrap that around our card. And you're thinking, why is she wrapping it to the front? Well, I wanna hide the seam. And if I don't wrap it to the front, the seam will not be hidden because it will basically be in the back and everyone will see it because when they flip the card to the back, there will be the seam and it will look like this and it is not very pretty. So if I put it in the front, 
Dum -da -da -dum. Look, gets covered up. No one knows it's there. It's like there's a continuous piece of cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is grab the same wet adhesive. I'm gonna run some on this side. And I'm also gonna add some to this part here, which is the final part where it gets pressed into place. And I'm just gonna hold that down. I'm gonna line it so that it's straight. And when I'm happy with where it is, I'm just gonna hold it here for a minute. And let that bond. There we go. Gotta love the wet adhesive for that very reason, yay! Okay, now we're going to attach this layer right here. And I am gonna use, I think I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, it's this rectangular part that's in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my seal since I know that that part is gonna be on there. I also know I want these two pieces to also be on there really well. This is the part that overhangs, right? So now that I know that, I can go ahead and attach this part on our card. So we'll just place that there. When I'm happy with its placement, I will press down and give it a nice press. Okay, now we have to work on our cactus. So let's go. So here is this piece. We are gonna stamp our cactus first and I'm gonna show you how I got that two-tone look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our Coastal Caribbean and we're gonna add some Granny Apple Green to it. So I'm gonna first ink up my cute cactus. Just gonna pat it back and forth. This Coastal Caribbean needs to be re-inked. I have to remember to do that. But I'm just picking up this color, it's so pretty. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna grab one of my blending brushes and I'm gonna run that into our Granny Apple Green and I'm going to go around the edges and I'm just gonna pat. You can see I'm not brushing it and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more color. And as you do this, you will see the green be deposited because the stamp is clear. So you can see it grabbing some attention there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but when I press this down onto the paper, you're totally gonna see it. All right, let's see if it goes this way. No, nope, we're gonna go this way. All right, so let's go ahead and press it. Now you can see on the paper there, you can see the two tones of the blue and the green. I'm just gonna give it a nice press. All right, so there is our cactus. Now I've attached a little flower. I'm gonna close these so I don't stick my finger in them. I will have to go back into that Coastal Caribbean, but for right now, I just need this flirty flamingo and I'm going to attach a little flower right here in the corner of my cactus like so. All right now let's go ahead and stamp the pot as well and it's going to also go in flirty flamingo. We'll put it on this other side here. I'm stamping it upside down but that's okay we're going to cut it out so it'll be fine. So there is our stamped pieces. We're also going to stamp the word hello, which this comes in our stamp set, it's adorable. We're gonna stamp it on this little piece here. I need to actually cut it down. I wonder if, let me see, I have a tiny scrap here next to me. I'm gonna see if I can make it fit on there. And if I do, I won't have to trim it down, right guys? Gotta love scraps for that reason. All right, let's see if I can do this. Hopefully you guys are not out of camera here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can fit it onto that white piece. Because the stamp is see-through, you can get it right where you need. Perfect! Now I don't have to use this piece and trim it down to the skinny little piece that I want it to be right there. All right, so now we have some cutting to do. We're done with our stamping. So I'm gonna go ahead and close our ink pads. them to the side and we're going to clean our stamps, get them out of the way. Almost. 
almost done. One more. All right. We are doing awesome. All right. I have all this stuff on my desk. Let me move some out of the way so we don't get distracted. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. So let's go ahead and start with our cactus. And I am going to come through here. I think I need to re-ink that um, Coastal Caribbean a lot because I have a lot of little spattering on it. And that means um, I'm dry, I need some wetness. So I have to definitely re-ink that. I will do it after I film this video. All right, so we are going to come around and then we're gonna work our way around the flower here. As you can see, I leave a little border around the, about around my images. And by doing that, it helps to draw your eye inward toward the actual um, colored piece. And you don't see the crookedness of your cutting, which is why I do this. I'm not the best cutter in the world but I don't mind fussy cutting because I know that the end results are worth it. So we're gonna come around here, let's get this pot done. And then we will glue our little cactus into the pot. This is such a cute little, um, those diamonds on the pot are so cute, don't you think? All right, I'm in love with this set, so cute. All right. So there's that. Let's fussy cut our hello. We're gonna do angle cut this way, angle cut this way, and there's that one. All right, guys, we are almost in the home stretch. Let's add a little bit of adhesive onto our cactus here. And I'm gonna press the pot to it so that it will grab onto that adhesive. Look how cute that is in that pot. Perfect. Let's put some adhesive behind the hello. And then we are going to add that. I'm gonna use a tweezer because it's so small, I don't wanna get glue on my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and put that near the top part of these diamonds and press that down. All right. Let's use our dimensionals. So we are gonna pull these little guys off and we are gonna put a few of them on here. Now we're not gonna go all the way to the top because this, as you can see, it overhangs. So we don't wanna go too far. So let's just put one more and we'll stop it right there. And that should be enough to secure our little cactus to our belly band. All right. Let me get my pick, take your pick tool. Of course, you guys who watch me know that I use this all the time. I love it to pull the backs off the dimensionals and for the embellishments. So I'm gonna leave it right here because we'll be doing that in a minute. All right, let's center this pot on the middle of our little piece right here. So cute. All right, now comes the bling. Gotta love the bling. I am using the Iridescent Rhinestones Basic Jewels. They are new in the January to June mini catalog. I hope they stay because they're so amazing. I love all that sparkle. And no matter what color you put them on, they take on that color. So that is the fun part about them. So let's go ahead and grab two of these guys, two of the big ones. I like those because they kind of fit really well here. Whoops. Oh, my putty is not doing its job. I might have to get rid of it. Let's do that because I don't want it, that to happen to my next one. That was too much work. All right, so when the putty gets old, it doesn't want things to stick to it. So you just pull it off and you're gonna discard that. You're gonna take this part and you twist and then see how it's some putty starting to come out? And when I'm happy with the amount of putty that has oozed out, I'm gonna retract back slightly so that there's no pressure and that's how you do it. So let's grab our next one. Oh, much better. All right, perfect. And let's add one more of these little guys on this cute cactus right here. Now you can see that the one that's on the cactus looks more blue and then these look more white. And it's because they take on the color that's behind them. So that's what's really fun about those. All right, let me put these guys away. 
and we will wrap this up. I hope that you guys had so much fun watching. I certainly had fun creating this project with you. It has been a joy. Um, I love this little card because it is just fun and it's a great way to showcase some really great paper like this. It's also a different kind of card, so fun folds are always a wow because people don't expect them, right? And this one is no exception. I think it looks amazing. I'm very happy with how it turned out, even though this cactus needs to be re-inked a little bit. It's okay. I'm going to be all right with it. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. I'm kind of new to YouTube, I guess. I've been making videos for about two and a half months. Um, if you don't mind giving me um, a like, a comment, share my video so I can bring you some more, and definitely subscribe for more content. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, definitely do that. Check out my blog also, inkyhandswarmhearts.com. Um, I will link that in the description below. And check that out. I do blog every day. I've been blogging for about two years. So there's tons of projects on my blog for you. Um, and I will be back again with more videos. This video here you can also find on a playlist with the rest of the videos that I have shot for this Cactus Cuties. So definitely check that out as well. Um, I appreciate it if you would share your video. You can sh share my video. You can share it to Facebook. You can share it in a text message. There's so many ways that YouTube gives us that we can share our content. So please help me out and do that for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thanks so much for watching. I have had so much fun stamping with you today. And this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!